In this section, we're going to learn how a Delta query can be used to avoid uh, Microsoft Graph requests from being throttled. So we're specifically going to look about how to avoid polling for Graph, uh, graph for Changes, uh, what Delta Query is, and then how to combine Delta Query with something called a change notification uh, to really cut down the number of requests. One common scenario that custom applications implement is polling Microsoft Graph on scheduled intervals. Typically, this strategy is used to keep an application's local data store in sync with data exposed in Microsoft Graph. However, polling Microsoft Graph for changes usually requires multiple Git requests for data to submit in succession, a scenario that commonly triggers requests to be throttled. One way to mitigate throttling when polling Microsoft Graph for large data sets is to use the Delta Query feature in Microsoft Graph. One way to implement throttling when polling Microsoft Graph for large data sets is to use the Delta Query feature of Microsoft Graph. Delta Query, also known as change tracking, allows developers to request only the data that has been added, updated, or deleted since the last request. This pattern will allow the application to reduce the amount of data requested by the application, that it will reduce the cost of the request, and as such will likely limit the changes of the requests that are being throttled. Now, Delta Query works using the concept of a state token. An application will issue an initial request to Microsoft Graph the same way it normally does, except that it will include the data link function in the request. Microsoft Graph will respond with the requested data as normal, except the last page of data will include the extra property Delta link. This contains the endpoint with the state token of the Delta query. To request the changes that happened in the resulting data set from the time that the previous query was submitted, the application uses the endpoint from the previous request Delta link endpoint. This tells Microsoft Graph to execute the same query, but only return the items that have changed since the first request. As indicated, using the state token included in the Delta link property. The last page of results on the second in the second request will include a new Delta link property that can be used for the next request and so on and so forth. Delta Query is supported by many Microsoft Graph resources, including directory roles, drive items, into events, and the, and the primary uh, calendar view, groups, mail folders, and messages in a folder, personal contact folders, and contacts in a folder, and users. Delta Query, when combined with another feature of Microsoft Graph, can be used to significantly reduce the number of requests that you need to make to Microsoft Graph. Change notifications, otherwise known as webhooks, are another feature of Microsoft Graph that enables an application to be notified when changes occur to specific data. An application can subscribe to be notified when a specific resource changes, such as the users. When a user is added, updated, or deleted, the application is notified that something changed in the user's endpoint by Microsoft Graph via an HTTP post. The application can then use the Delta query to request all changes since the last time it made the request. Using this strategy, applications can nearly eliminate the need for frequently polling Microsoft Graph and processing these changes to keep a local user do data store in sync. This greatly reduces the chances for the request to be throttled. Now, to ensure that no changes are missed, it's recommended that you add in at least one long interval Delta query request and not rely entirely on the subscription notifications to request changes from Microsoft Graph. This will return all the changes that can be processed by the application in the case a change notification was missed.